And you know what? Sometimes we're not very different. In a khutbah, people sit and listen. And they say, yeah, I should make istighfar. Yeah, but the movie starts at four. You know, you walk out of here, you become a different person again. Go back to life as usual again. You go back to the office and start hitting on the secretary again. You know, oh, no, no Muslims are here, it's okay. It's okay. You go back to your normal life. Who, who, who came? I mean, it's a, it's a good, good khutbah, but it's good like, you got close to Allah for like 20 minutes. It's good enough. I've given Allah enough. Maybe, maybe we'll make it 40 minutes because it's barakah of Ramadan or something. But other than that, you know, life as usual. This, these talks, these reminders, these khutbahs, they are simply a means. They're simply a means. They will not change you. You have to turn to Allah if you want to change. You have to turn to Allah and say, Ya Allah, not only am I asking for forgiveness, I want your forgiveness. I'm truly sorry for the way I've been. I shouldn't have been this way. And I know I, I can be better. And I know just because I've been this way yesterday, I'll, I won't be this way tomorrow. My yesterday does not guarantee my tomorrow. I can be a different person from now. I want to turn back to you, Ya Rab, now. I want the doors of your list to open to me now. And I will try to earn your forgiveness. I will try to earn your forgiveness. I will wake up for prayers. I, I will stop talking bad about other people. I'll stop the lying. I'll stop the cheating. I'll start being honest. I'll stop being shameless. I'll stop exposing myself to filthy things. I'll delete all those stuff, all those dirty things off my phone. I'll get rid of them. I'll clean out my computer and never go back to that stuff again. You have to have that conversation with Allah. You have to change that. Then Allah will open those doors. Then the, with the students sitting here, when the sky opens, man, your studies will become so easy. Dude, you're like studying until 3 a.m. for the midterm. Then you'll be going to sleep at 9 p.m. calm because you are totally ready for the test. Allah put barakah in your time. Those of you that have contracts and the deadlines are on the corner and you can't seem to finish your work, you'll be done well in advance. Because Allah will put barakah in your time. Allah will help you in your worldly matters. Things will start looking good. Things will start looking, looking brighter and brighter in everything that you do at your work, in your studies, in your family life, in your health. This is yursil sama'a alaykum midraran. This is what that means. You and I just have to become conscious of our mistakes and be sincere and genuine to Allah.